What up guys, it's your boy KDK Kiel Dyken. Today's video, we are back again with more Kronos Zen tutorials. I know it's been a while since I've actually posted a really good one. So uh, we're gonna go back to the basics today. Yeah, we're gonna keep it simple. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your software, the Zen Studios, and also upgrade your firmware. Now it's highly recommended, it's not required, but it's highly recommended that you update your firmware every time you update the software as well. Let's go ahead and get into this review. You guys know what time it is. So you have your new Chrono Zen and you don't know what to do. You download the software and this little message pop up, pops up. So uh, this is probably my fifth or sixth Zen Studios upgrade uh, for the software. So I just wanted to walk you guys through it for those of you who are not familiar with this process. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it on my channel because I've done it you know, privately on my own. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and update our software. All right, so you've been waiting for several months to finally get your hands on a brand new Chrono Zen device and you find out your software is incompatible and it's time to upgrade the firmware and the software. So the first thing you definitely wanna do is make sure you head on over to chronosmax.com backslash downloads. Then you wanna scroll down to this link here for Zen Studios. Now, I know there have been several updates. Um, sometimes I get confused with my personal software because I have several versions of the software but you can find the latest one here directly on their website go and click download and that will prompt you to install uh the new software and then of course always make sure that you have the new firmware as well so once you click download and you'll install the software you'll be prompted with this message here it says the firmware installed on your device is incompatible with this version of zen studio software please run the cm update tool app so we're going to go and make sure we do that uh, the firm, uh, the current software is already loaded. So let's go ahead and run the updater tool. Now, typically you can't have both cables plugged into your Zen uh, as I do right now. You have to unplug one of the cables. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll walk you guys through this. So the first thing you guys definitely wanna do is make sure you're using the short micro USB cable that comes with your Chrono Zen and you plug it into the back. Let me move my camera over so you guys can see it. You wanna make sure you plug it into the back. So again, this is the short micro SD cable that comes with the Chrono Zen, and it has this little ground loop uh, thing on the cable. There's a couple of them. So that's the cable you wanna make sure you wanna use. After you do that, you wanna make sure that you also hold in this little button here in the back. There's a little button on the back of your Chrono Zen you want to make sure you guys press that when you guys are plugging this into your computer or your computer will not be read through the firmware updater. So as you guys can see, there is a firmware update on uh, my device. So we're going to select that button and we're going to go ahead and continue to upgrade the device today. Select firmware version, use the latest version available. We're going to go ahead and continue. And as you guys can see here, it says your device will be updated to the latest version. Begin the update. So that is what we're gonna do today. It only takes a few seconds for the updater tool to install and do its thing. But anytime you guys are updating the software, um, I know a lot of the guys who are in my uh, Chrono Zen official group, they're having problems updating. So make sure you're using this right cable, the 12 inch cable, and then make sure that you're hitting that firmware button directly on the back. Um, another important tip you don't want to do is make sure that you have the software closed as well. You don't want that one running in the background. Uh, as you guys can see here, I've turned mine off. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. Update is completed. We can close that out. And so let's go ahead again and 
open up our Zen software. And I'm gonna unplug it. And then I'm gonna make sure I hook up now, another important tip is when you guys are using this micro cable here, you wanna make sure that it's firmly in the drive itself or uh, in the device. You wanna make sure it's really nice and snug. I know when I first got this and I was plugging it in, it still wouldn't read. And I had to, once I had it in there tight, I had to kind of press it in there again because it needed to hear that little snap. And as you guys can hear, that little snap, you make sure it's in there and you're pretty much good to go. So uh, that's really all you need to do to make sure that you have your device up and running. So uh, as you guys can see here, we have the latest software version. And again, remember this unit is really good for your Nintendo Wii and your Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, and obviously I believe this should work with PlayStation 5 and also Xbox when it first, uh, when it comes out. Again, guys, uh, make sure you guys check out my forum, Chronos Zen. Uh, official on Facebook and also check out my other social media if you guys have found this review to be helpful make sure you guys subscribe to the channel I will be posting some other reviews on the Chrono Zen I know that I have been away for a little bit doing stuff with Raspberry Pi computer tech mods and also RC but we are full steam ahead I have some important guests coming up and also uh, trying to get some of the other devs from the other communities like RetroPie and uh, some of the other devs here on this channel to kind of showcase some of the things they love to do with the Chrono Zen. So for all things and more, make sure you guys are following. I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoy that little quick review and tutorial about how to upgrade your software and your firmware all in one shot. Again, guys, this is Keel Daikin. I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a great day.